Hey guys, this is Turtle here, and today I'm going to show you is how to make a rusty text effect, I guess you can say. And it's pretty easy, it's just a couple filters and that's pretty much it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, New, oh damn it, sorry about that, File, New, and you're gonna want to make the width uh, 1024 and the height 770 and make it transparent I guess doesn't really matter alright now make your foreground which is the front we're gonna make it brown so look for that brown or if you know the the colors just put 926320 now you're going to want to make the background black all right now switch this to where it was make so make sure the brown is up in front now uh, you're gonna go to filter filter render and clouds okay and you're gonna go to images adjustments and brightness let's set that up to I guess 50, 50, around the 50s, and contrast to. Let's see how it looks. Oh, let's go to negative. There we go, a little bit better. Now go to filter, brush strokes, uh, brush strokes. And then go to sprayed strokes. Get that up to load. Put the stroke length at 3 and the spray radius at 20 and make the spray direction at horizontal. Then click again. I mean, OK. And you're going to want to go to filter now. Filter, noise, and add noise. You're going to put, put some put it at least three yeah three is good and hmm distribution we'll go to Gaussian I guess let's see which one looks better yeah this one must no difference just put Gaussian oh and make sure that monochromatic is checked then click OK now you're gonna want to go to filter again. You're gonna go to brush strokes. Uh, I forgot which one it is. Uh, oh, splatter, I believe. Yeah, it's splatter. And you're just gonna want to say that 25, the spray radius at 25, and the smoothness at 15. Just click OK. Now, this is where it gets, no, it doesn't get tricky, just go to more some, we're going to add some, just some more filters. Go to filter brush strokes, and then, no, I'm sorry, go to sharpen and unsharpen mask. Just put, just put like a. That's good. And make this a little bit grungier. And the threshold. The threshold at zero and the radius, I guess, at 8.7 looks pretty good. Now you can see that it's getting more. more uh, rusty, I guess you can say. Now, 
this is where you type your font I guess now you're gonna want to make the font big well I want to make it big to make sure like just to see what we're doing I'm gonna put it at 400 and I'm gonna type turtle I guess that looks pretty good now after that you're gonna go to your blending options or you can go to layer style whatever but just double click on the layer then you're gonna just go to two drop shadow set this the opacity up a little bit more mm, should we change anything yeah put the spread more like at 18 19 20 a little bit more and the size uh let's see Ooh, too much perfect then you can go to the I guess inner shadow yeah the inner shadow it's inner shadow sorry about that you're gonna set the opacity up all the way to a hundred and the choke all the way to 10 let's see how it looks at 10 uh, and uh, the size uh, 29 I guess then go to gradient overlay this is where it gets a little bit tricky you're gonna make it like pink I guess you can say with white here's where it gets tricky you're gonna add one of these new tabs just click around it's gonna be pink white pink and just make sure the gradient type is solid and it's at a hundred make sure that's then you're gonna click OK now for the style you're gonna click reflected so it'll be sort of like in the middle but if you're gonna turn like if say if you're gonna turn the the word sideways switch the angle so it'd be to the side I guess so it'll look a lot better put it at 90 and I forgot uh, put the blend mode at multiply Now you're gonna go to stroke. Make it black. The size at one. Outside normal opacity up to fifty. Then you're gonna click OK. Now you're gonna go up top where it says normal and you're gonna go to color dodge. And that gives you like the background more. Like see like it blends in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the first layer. So go to double click it, I mean right click it and then go to duplicate layer. Click OK and drag it up to the top or drag the font to, to the middle and you're gonna go click on the first one and you're gonna put it as let's see which one looks better hmm let's just go to linear light hmm. after that you're gonna go to right click it again and then put create a clipping mask and there you go uh... rusty font i guess you can say looks pretty nice pretty good 
uh, subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching.